Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello. Are you Mike Jones? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. I'm Tom Wilson. How is Tom? How is your wife? How is your husband? She is very well, thank you. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? I'm fine, too. Good night, Mary. Goodbye, John. See you tomorrow. See you later. I have to go now. Let me introduce myself. How do you do? How do you spell it? What's your name? May I have your name? My name is Thomas. Just call me Tom. What's your family name? My family name is Johnson. This is Jack. He's my classmate. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Who is the lady in white dress? Could you introduce me to her? George, let me introduce my friend to you. How old are you? I'm 28 years old. I'm two years younger than my brother. Mr. Davis is still in his 30s. My elder brother is one year older than her husband. My father is over 80 years old. They'll have a party for their 15th wedding anniversary. He looks much younger than he is. I came here when I was 22. I started going to school at the age of seven. He is still a boy after all. Most of them are less than 25. I guess he's about 40. He is the youngest in the family. She's going to be 20 next month. What's your motherland? Where are you from? What's your nationality? What's the population of India? What's the capital of your country? Are you Chinese? I come from Spain. I was born in UK and brought up in the USA. How many states are there in your country? The capital of my country is Paris. My country is rich in natural resources. That nation is famous for its tourism. What do you do? I'm a lawyer. What does he do? He's a photographer. Who are you? I'm Kathy. Who is the guy over there? He is Tim. Is that boy a student? No, he isn't. Can she be a teacher? Yes, I think so. I really don't know. I have no idea about it. Is this your bag? No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Whose cell phone is this? It's Brian's. Is that an apple? No, it isn't. It's a pear. What's this? It's a pencil. 
It's an apple. Which is the right size? Where's the post office? How big is your house? How long is the street? What's the name of the dog? What do you call this in English? What is the color of your new shoes? Is this your pen? I found it under the desk. No. Mine is red. Where is my bag? On the desk. Over there. Are these notebooks all yours? Some of them are mine. Which is your wallet? The bigger one. The one on your right. Do you know where I've put my bag? Is this yours? Yes, it's mine. What's the date today? It's March the 16th, 2016. What day is it today? It's Tuesday today. What month is this? It's October. What year is this? It's the year of 2017. It's been four years since I last saw you. Does the store open at 10 a.m. on weekdays? It opens at 9 a.m. on weekdays, but at 10 at weekends. What will you do during this weekend? I'll work for the next six days. What did you do last week? What will you do the day after tomorrow? What day is today? Today is Wednesday. What's the date today? Today is April 27. How long will the sale last? Only two days. What time? You name the time. When were you born? I was born on August 1, 1992. Please check the date. I'll be back in six days. I'll meet you tomorrow. Do you know the exact date? What were you doing this time last year? What time is it now? It's four o'clock. It's half past nine. It's one o'clock sharp. It's not five o'clock. It's a quarter past six. It's eight minutes to four. What's the time by your watch? It is six o'clock on my watch. My watch is three minutes fast. We must arrive there on time. There are only three minutes left. The meeting is put off. The flight is delayed. Can you finish your work ahead of time? Hello, can I see Mr. Peter? Do you have an appointment? Sorry, I don't. Yes, at 2 p.m. He is on the phone. Sorry, Mr. Peter can't see you now. Would you wait here for a minute? Would you like something to drink? Tea, please. Mr. Peter, Mr. Smith is here. You may go in now. Nice to see you, my old friend. How have you been these years? Do you still remember that Halloween? You've changed little. 
Do you speak English? Yes, a little. He speaks English fluently. Your English is very good. You speak English pretty well. Your pronunciation is excellent. Are you a native speaker of English? My native language is Spanish. Can you write in English? How long have you studied English? How can I improve my spoken English? He has a strong accent. I have some difficulty in expressing myself. Do you like traveling? Yes, I like it a great deal. What are you doing? I'm cooking. I'm reading a magazine. Are you watching TV now? Yes. I'm watching Channel 12. No, I'm listening to the radio. What will you do this weekend? I'll go to a concert. I'll go on an outing with some friends. Who are you writing to? I'm writing to a friend. Where are you going? I'm going to work. I get up at seven every morning. I wake my daughter up. I then take a bath in the bathroom. I shave, brush my teeth, and comb my hair. I put on a bit of makeup. I cooked breakfast for the family. I go downstairs and have my breakfast. I read the newspaper over breakfast. I dress my sister and wash her hands and face. I get to my office at 8.30. I leave the office at 6. I pick up my brother from his school. I buy some food on my way home. We go to bed at 11.30. What do you do in your spare time? I like playing baseball. I like listening to jazz music. Where do you have your lunch? What did you have for lunch? I had a fried chicken and a hot dog. When do you get up every day? I usually get up at 7 o'clock. What do you do at work? I do some typing. What time do you start work? I start work at 9 o'clock. What time do you finish your work? At 5 o'clock sharp. When did you get up yesterday morning? At about 6. I didn't sleep well. I read a magazine in bed. I slept soundly all night. I heard the clock, but I didn't get up until 8. I woke up 7 and got up right away. I was 8 minutes late. I was just on time. I had my breakfast on the way. I hurried to my office. I had lunch with a friend of mine. I finished my work at 5 p.m. I stayed and did some extra work. Hi, Carl, is it really you? Hi, Mary, nice to see you again. It's been a whole year since I last saw you. How have you been these days? Not too bad. Have you seen Amber lately? No, I have no contact with her. 
I heard she got married last week. Oh, how nice. Sorry, I've got to go now. So do I see you later. Keep in touch. Any tickets left? I have some left. Do you have a eraser? I need some here. If you have more, please give me some. Do you have a digital camera? Yes, I do. Do you have my pen? Yes, I have your pencil, too. He has that pen, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. Do you have any brothers or sisters? No, I'm a single son. Do you have toothbrush here? What a beautiful garden you have. I used to take a walk in the early morning. I had thought he knew the time of the meeting. We have known each other for ten years. Have you seen Mr. Smith recently? When I arrived at the station, the train had already left. They've been working on this project since last year. I've been listening to the radio all night. He used to live in my neighborhood. The movie began as soon as we got there. The late arrival of the ship had messed up all our plans. It has been a long time since last came here. They had expected me to go with them. That was the second time that I had visited the place. Hello. May I speak to Mr. Taylor? Please hold on. This is John speaking. There's something wrong with the phone. Would you answer the phone please? I want to make a long distance call. I couldn't get through. I tried to call you, but the line was busy. Would you tell Mr. Taylor that I called? Would you call back tomorrow? I must have dialed the wrong number. I have to hang up now. He's not in. May I take a message for him? Yes, please. Would you mind closing the door for me? Of course. May I ask you a question? Please give me a hand. Could you do me a favor? Would you help me remove the refrigerator? Get me my coat, please. Could you tell me where I can find these books? With pleasure. I'm sorry. I'm engaged now. I'm glad to, but I'm afraid I don't have the time. Certainly. Make me a cup of tea, will you? Call me tomorrow if you have time. Would you please open the window for me? How long have you stayed there? Just a few months. Will you stay there for long? No, I'll move to Chicago next month. Oh, really? I am moving there too. Hi, Andy, where do you live now? I live at 409 Charles Street. Charles Street? Isn't Carol living there? Yes, she lives just across the street. How about Carol? How long has she lived there? She's been living there since her birth. Great. Then we can drink wine together. Yes, and you may stay there longer. I hope so. 
I'm sure we'll have a good time. Where are you going? What were you doing when I called? Where did you go for dinner the day before yesterday? When will he come to see you? I was about to leave. When did you buy the car? How did you doing spend your holiday? Can you guess what I was doing this afternoon? What did he say in the email? Who told you? What are you going to do with the books? Who will accompany you to the station? Why don't you agree? Why not go out for a walk? How are you doing these days? What's the height of the apartment? How much does the tiger weight? What's the color of your new shoes? This metal is harder than that one. What's the size of your shoes? How long do you watch TV every day? What's the shape of your balloon? How thick is the book here? He can run as fast as Tom. How wide is this river? Kate is smarter than I. How often do you go swimming? My brother is twice as tall as your sister. My grandma is 40 years older than me. Excuse me, how can I get to the station? You can take the bus and get off at the next stop. Excuse me, where is number 9 street? It's just around the corner. Where are the stairs? Go along the corridor and it's on your right side. Excuse me, madam. Could you tell me where the supermarket is? Go straight ahead and turn right at the third crossing. Can I use the elevator? Sorry, it's broken. You have to use the stairs. Excuse me, can you tell me how to get to the post office? Go on for about 200 meters. It's on your right side. You can't miss it. Which one is Mr. Smith's office? It's room 902 on the second floor. Thank you for directions. Are you married? I'm single. Do you live with your parents? No, I live in my own house. You have a younger sister, don't you? How is your family? She's engaged slash married to Charlie. How long have you been married? We've been married for 10 years. They've been divorced. My parents got married in 1981. Charlie has his own family now. Mary gave birth to a baby last week. My aunt will come to live with me for some days. His wife died a year ago. Now he lives alone. How will you spend the evening? I'll probably stay home and watch TV. What will you do about it? What do you want to do after graduation? I'll further my study. What time are you going to leave for the airport tomorrow? Is he coming to dinner? I'm going to the post office. Will you go with me? They're going to discuss it at the meeting next Monday. I'll be waiting for you at the restaurant this time tomorrow. After I get home, I'll call you. What's your plan for the summer holiday? 
I'm thinking about a visit to London. There's going to be a exhibition at the art gallery. Have you heard the weather forecast? We'll have fine weather for the next few days. It is said it will clear up tonight. What will it be after the clear weather? I'm afraid it won't be cold enough for a snowfall. But last year we had a big snow. Will it rain tomorrow? No, I don't think so. How is the weather today? The weather is nice today. It's going to snow tomorrow. What was the weather like yesterday? Is it raining now? Yesterday it rained all day. There's a cool breeze this evening. What will the weather be like tomorrow? The days are getting hotter. Yes, but you know global warming may raise the temperature. What's the temperature today? It's about 72 degrees Fahrenheit this afternoon. It's quite cold today. It's been cloudy all morning. It'll probably clear up this afternoon. Today is the first day of spring. How are you feeling today? I don't feel very well. What's matter with you? How are you feeling today? I got sick. My father has a bad headache. I don't feel very well this morning. My fever is gone. Do you feel better now? Much better. I hope you'll be well soon. Take two pills and have a good rest. I suppose he was sick. My fever is gone, but I still have a cough. Take care of yourself. Where did you get injured? How did you break your leg? It's bleeding. I've got a pain in my back. I've got a pain in my shoulder. It hurts right here. Your right hand is swollen. Does it hurt? I have a headache. It really hurts. I was sick yesterday, but I'm better today. My left leg hurts. It hurts right here. Which arm hurts? Is it the left one? Which of your leg is sore? Call the doctor. What do you think about it? Do you have any idea? Please give me your advice. I want to hear your opinion. Do you really want to know what I think? Is that right? I think you're mistaken about that. Absolutely right. Is that okay? That's fine. That's excellent. I'm considering buying a house. What are you doing next week? What do you plan to do this Sunday? I have no idea. I plan to go to the theater. I'll go skiing of the weather permits. I'm thinking of going to my grandma's. I suppose I can finish the project next year. Good luck. Have you decided? It's still undecided. No, I haven't decided yet. You have the final say. It's up to you.
I've changed my mind. I've decided not to sell the house. I'm determined to leave. Don't hesitate anymore. It's really hard to make a decision. It is hard to make a decision. Give me a definite answer, please. Do not hesitate. She insists that it doesn't matter. He's made up his mind to quit his job. I will go buy milk to the supermarket. Will you go shopping with me? Is there anything you would like? May I help you? Excuse me, would you tell me where I can get some bread? May I try it on? May I have a look at the ring? This is too small for me. Do you have a bigger one? What's your size? Do you have any more colors? Yes, I'd like to buy a book. All right, here you are. Yes, I want to buy a shirt. What color slash size slash style do you want? I would like an M size sweater. I want a yellow one. This maker's hat is out of stock. When will this be in stock? How much is it? This is $40. It's too expensive for me. Could you make it cheaper? Can you make it a little cheaper? I cannot discount it anymore. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Where do I pay? Here's your change. May I use my credit card? You pay at the cashier over there. The check, please. Here's your change. Please give me the receipt. Thanks for your good service. Welcome again. Thank you. You're welcome. What would you like to eat? Anything to drink? A small glass of wine, please. Are you ready to order? I'd like some spaghetti and dessert. Do you want some fruit? Yes, please. I want an orange. What would you like for dessert? I'll have some cheesecake. Here you are. Here is your food. Waiter, check out. Can I pay by check or credit card? Can I pay with Apple Pay? Sorry, we only take cash. I'd like to make an appointment with Mrs. Johnson. She's free on Monday and Tuesday. Sorry, can I see her before Tuesday? At what time? From 3 to 3.30. Let me see. She has 30 minutes Monday afternoon. All right. If there is something, please call me. I can come any time except Sunday. Please call me before you come. I have an interview this afternoon. He phoned to cancel the meeting. Please make an appointment with my secretary. I have to change my appointment from Tuesday to Wednesday. Do you have any discomfort? I think you've caught a cold. You need an injection. 
you have to be operated on. Is it serious? Do I need to be hospitalized? How long have you had it? Have you seen the doctor? I had a shot of penicillin. Becky was infected with influenza. What did the doctor say? What sort of medicine do you take? The doctor says that I should not eat anything oily. This house is for rent. That house is for sale. It has central heating. It's really a bargain. The houses downtown are very expensive. I want to rent a furnished house. What kind of furniture do you like? I want an apartment with two bedrooms and a kitchen. This is a rather old house. There is a shower in the bathroom. We have a few kitchen things and a dining room set. I feel at home living here. The landlady is very kind to me. I have a dog, but it's very quiet. How much is the rent for a month? I don't like wearing the uniform. You forgot to fasten the collar buttons. Your shoelace is loose. The shoes are worn out. Don't forget to put stamps on your letter. Do you want to airmail it or not? You've got an express mail. I have received a letter from my cousin. He hasn't answered my letter yet. Send a postcard to me when you arrive in Tokyo. I put some documents in the envelope. To make it fast, you can send a fax. My mother mailed me a parcel. I dropped the letter into the mailbox in front of the post office. I haven't heard from him for a long time. We keep in touch with each other by email since he left Canada. How long does it take for a letter to get to America from Japan? Is there any evidence to support what you have said? I cannot agree with you on this point. You've got the point. What you have said about this is very interesting. That's the point. He is a very creative student. Well, it depends on the situation. Has anybody else anything to say on this? Finally, we came to an agreement. The whole class is in a heated discussion. Please sum up what you said just now. What do you think about Carl's opinion? There are always two sides to everything. His flattery makes me sick. You look radiant tonight. We enjoyed ourselves very much. It was a terrible experience. The Christmas tree is gorgeous. What a boring movie it is. The party is making too much noise. I am on top of the world. You look elegant in that dress. The coat doesn't suit you. The dinner was wonderful. How fragrant the flowers are. We had a good time. I am bored to death. Which do you prefer, playing football or fishing? Neither. What's your favorite sport? I would rather sleep than watch this movie. I like basketball best. 
Baseball is my favorite. What do you like best, oranges, pears, or apples? She has good taste in clothes. What do you like to do in your spare time? I like collecting stamps. I prefer tea to coffee. What do you dislike most about this movie? She dislikes hockey. She is sick of watching hockey. That's just what I was looking for. I am old enough to make up my own mind. It might be, I suppose. Good try, but not quite right. That's rather disappointing. If you really want my advice I don't think you should quit school. What about your opinion? You should take the advice of your teacher. Your work seems not satisfactory. I generally agree with you. In my opinion, your new coat is not worth so much money. It's only a suggestion, you don't have to take it. Thanks for your advice but I have to consider it myself. Would you be so kind as to lend me some money? No problem. How much? Would you mind opening the window? Please do not open it. Would you open the door for me, please? With pleasure. Excuse me, would you give me a hand? I'd be glad to help. I wondered if you could buy me some pencils. Sure. I hope that will not cause you too much trouble. I hope I'm not bothering you. I really appreciate your help. I do not want to bother you. Would you mind mailing this letter for me? Children enter primary school at the age of six. John is already a junior high school student. He majored in computers. As a senior, Bruce is writing his thesis. I graduated from Yale University five years ago. It is desirable to apply to good schools. In Australia, there are open universities. Jack is in his freshman year. Some students quit school due to poverty. There are many training classes and night classes. Tim is a sophomore now. Mr. Smith is a member of the faculty. May I come in? Come in, please. Sit down, please. Any different opinion? Are you with me? Have I made myself clear? Could you say it again? Any questions? That's all for today. I plan to learn programming. I want to be a programmer after graduation. He will probably follow in his father's footsteps. As soon as he comes, we'll let him know. She will go into business when she likes to. She will certainly remain single. He intends to start up with his friends. I'll leave for New York if I finish my work today. I'll work for four years and then go back to school. I hope he will meet me at the airport. I'm thinking of quitting the job. What do you say we have a party this weekend? If it doesn't rain tomorrow, We'll have a picnic. You should have studied much harder. 
What does your father do? He is a lawyer. He has his own office. Do you have any plan for your career? My cousin was promoted last month. I want to be a doctor if possible. I hope that I can get a decent job with a good salary. I have an interview next week. He is a manager of a famous corporation. I like writing, but I wouldn't take it as my career. I worked as an intern in that firm last summer. He made a successful career in business. What are you interested in? How do you spend your evenings? What are your interests? Do you have any hobbies? I often go skiing in winter. Does his film appeal to you? Photography is an expensive hobby. What do you do in your spare time? Do you go on picnics? I particularly like English literature. She has a particular interest in painting. He plays the piano just for enjoyment. What's your favorite music? Do you often go to a concert? I have never heard the piece before, who wrote it? Do you like pop music? I hate rock music. It's too noisy. What do you think of their skill? He has a passion for literature. What do you think about this poem? Do you like traveling? Yes, I've just come back from Canada. Why did you go there? I went there on business. How did you get there? I got there by plane. Where did you visit? I only had time to visit Toronto. How did you like it? It's fantastic. And do you have friends there? Yes, a lot of friends. Yes, and I took many pictures. Please let me see them. You must have enjoyed yourself. What's your favorite sport? My favorite winter sport is skiing. Our team beat their team yesterday. My class went camping last summer. We are sure to defeat them. How many years have you been playing tennis? I like football. He is good at table tennis. The basketball championship is exciting. I was on the track team five years ago. I prefer swimming to fishing. She is a member of the snowboard club. I lost the game yesterday. Make yourself at home. I'm very proud of you. We are in the same boat. Everything tastes great. You have a good sense of humor. Your English has poor pronunciation. You piss me off. He is the happiest man alive. What about having a hamburger first? Don't be so modest. What's your goal in life? He found my lecture interesting. Don't let this get you down. You've got a great personality. I want to have a part-time job. It's a secret between you and me. You are kidding. What's wrong with you? 
When is the most convenient time for you? I'm fed up. Your company is very impressive. That's disgusting. You did a good job. Get out of my face. What are you up to? I can manage. You mustn't aim too high. Tomorrow never comes. You're really talented. Who do you think you are? My mouth is watering. What's your job? Whatever I said, he'd disagree. What do you recommend? You shouldn't have done that. He fell behind with his work. Are you insane? She hired a car by the hour. Cut it out. Thanks for your cooperation. She is a composer for the harp. How often do you eat out? You'd better look before you leap. You make me sick. What do you do for relaxation? What a shame. You are just in time. Take my word for it. What shall we do tonight? Time is money. The same to you. My parents want me to go abroad. He has been sick for three weeks. I go to school by bike every day. You're a jerk. I count you as one of my friends. Fasten your seat belt. I have a large collection of books. That's okay. When was the house built? Where is the restroom, please? He has a large income. This pen doesn't write well. You need to work out. Where are you going? He had a good many friends here. Brush your teeth thoroughly. Another cat came to my house. I'll have to try that. What's the meaning of this? Mr. Smith is fixing his bike. Why did you stay at home? You look nice in that color. The food is delicious. I caught the last bus. Lying and stealing are immoral. That depends. There is no doubt about it. I lost the door key about here. He is about six feet high. What are your plans for the weekend? I don't want to see your face. You have a very successful business. What happened to you? I feel like eating an ice cream. How late are you open? Where have you been? He is respectful to his elders. I envy you very much. We'll see. We are divided in our opinions. We all desire happiness. What are you talking about? A red tie will match that suit. This boy has no job. Don't be so childish. The eggs are sold by the dozen. Thanks for the warning. Is there any sugar in the bottle? Here's a gift for you. I'm not guessing, I really know. That's life. 
Leave me alone. He repaired his house. There's a possibility. I can't tell. We have a lot in common. Nancy will retire next year. I'm very pleased with your work. I found him seated on the bench. Your daughter is so cute. That's not true. I have never seen the movie. He covered himself with a quilt. I am not good at organizing my room. Someone is ringing the bell. This is only the first half. What's your problem? What a coincidence. She dressed herself hastily. You're so smart. Who is in charge here? That's the way I look at it, too. That's fair. Get lost. I hate you. It doesn't make sense. It's a friendly competition. It is not so easy as you think. Keep your temper under control. I am busy. How is your business? Don't talk to me like that. I can't stand it. That reminds me. We look forward to your visit. What is the price of rice per kilogram? That's worthwhile. You look great today. It's time to tell her the truth. The shortest answer is doing. You should look at it yourself. Don't bother. His talk covered many subjects. Your hand feels cold. You can say that again. Don't bother me. I have my hair cut every month. Talking with you is a pleasure. I go to the gym after work every day. When do you get up every day? Neither you nor he is wrong. The Smiths are my neighbors. That's not a problem. Don't play with your cell phone while eating. You can count on me. Don't let me down. Does she like Tom? You know what I'm talking about. Turn down the volume of the TV please. That rings a bell. You're very eloquent. How dare you? How long did it last? The price is reasonable. I don't think you are right. Check your answers with mine. My efforts resulted in nothing. He resolved to give up smoking. I assure you. I apologize. I don't think much of the movie. You stupid jerk. That's all right. There are many stars in the sky. This house is my own. Don't look at your cell phone in the bed. You have a good taste. So troublesome. Take your time. I feel very regretful. The teacher got a little angry. Whatever you think is fine with me. I went there three days ago. Would you care for a drink? We're so proud of you. That makes no difference. 
your Spanish is really surprising. Please replace the light bulb. You are so considerate. Whoever comes will be welcomed. It's none of your business. You're crazy. What do you think of my new shoes? He is quite introvert. You're very professional. Would you like some help? Example is better than precept. Don't jump to conclusions. I won't be able to see him today. What's the weather like today? Speak louder, please. Take me to the airport, please. I am very happy spending time with you. The sooner, the better. She has been collecting stamps. Thank you all the same. Her family are all music lovers. You look as if you didn't care. He knows English better than I. He came to the point at once. I broke up with her. When will it be ready? I appreciate your invitation. That's just what I was thinking. I couldn't agree more. These shoes don't fit right. Don't get me wrong. Would you do me a favor? I can't connect to the internet. Stop complaining. Would you like a cup of tea? It's very thoughtful of you. I haven't seen you for ages. I bet you can. What an adorable baby. I was alone, but not lonely. Where can I go for help? Two heads are better than one. That's for sure. He suggested a picnic. I can't resist the temptation. How much does it cost to repair this? I can't afford it. Don't give up. My car needs washing. There is nothing I can do. That's the way it is. That's more like it. Could you please take a picture for us? What can I do for you? I'll call a taxi in case of need. This is really a nice place. That's good to know. Did you enter the contest? I could hardly speak. That sounds like a good idea. That makes sense. We can work it out. There is a call for you.